Now, go through the mirror, my beautiful princess of maggots. Is that what I am now? All right. Chapter 5, Princess of Maggots. Well, here I am. But... It's this alt house. What should I do? There's the drink. Follow the Queen's orders? Or maybe... Ignore them and help this guy instead. But if I help this guy, she's gonna this take Bethany or Zach. Let's I can't just do that. Around and see what happens. I can't do that. It's empty. Empty bottle. I can smash it. That's in red, though. I don't know what that means. So Al's got a pet bird. Interesting. Okay, I can let the bird out. Very retro. Not a bad day outside. Well, he's definitely a redhead. <laughs> he is a ginger, all right. Um, can I leave this room or? Now that I have these superpowers, I can just blink through it. We have superpowers? Oh my. Let's see if we can find out a little about him. He's living in this, he's living in this, um, Crazy rundown house. Corrupt. I don't know what corrupt means. No. A princess of maggots doesn't need to eat food. He's got tacos. Must be Tuesday. Okay. So I can corrupt the fridge. I can smash the bottle. These actions are in red, though. I don't know what the significance of that is. I don't know if that means it's going to wake him up. Or if that's the end of what I do here. Or is that going to affect karma? I don't know. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. What a beautiful woman. Who is that? Is that his wife? So that's his room. Is there another door here? It's a bathroom door. Is there nothing to do in here? Okay. So... I don't know what to do here. This is, um... This is tough. I can't... I can't let her take Bethany. We're gonna smash the bottle. I could easily smash it to pieces, but I'll go easy on it for now. Oh, she doesn't want to smash it? I don't think he'd feel it if I tapped his shoulder. I opened the window and I've opened the birdcage. Bird gonna fly out? I did it. Now his bird flew away. No. No, no, no. Oh no. I feel Jeff. so bad. Jeff. <laughs> Why did you go? Fuck. Oh, shit. I just lost karma. Okay. Well, we did. I think Al would definitely notice that. 
we definitely did something to push him over the edge. Do I have to? Do I have to do all this stuff? Without Al watching, it's kind of pointless. Hmm. All right. All right. We're saving Bethany. I don't. I don't like this at all. But we're saving Bethany. We've got to think about Bethany. I should probably open it first. It's a, a bit dramatic. Oh, wow. As if he's not going to be a little oh. bit alarmed by that. I've already cut the shit out completely of fucking bonkers. <gasps> They are completely bonkers. Huh? We reckon this guy is live. I don't like it. How long was I sleeping? <laughs> so he made his bird run away. Which looks like the only thing he had left in his life. Then we destroyed his food. I really want to know what happens if you don't do all this, though. Like, I want to have. Welcome I want to know what to happens if you. Group meeting. It's good to see you all again. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a new member with us today. His name is Al. Hi, Al. How you doing, mate? Hello. Um. Hi. You are right. We're good, Al. And we're very glad you're here. Now, I know it's hard to open up to strangers, but remember, we're not here to judge you. We might all come from different backgrounds in life, but in the end, we're here because we have one thing in common. For instance, Robert there is a cab driver. Was. He's had a drinking problem for most of his adult life. But last year, when he crashed his cab, he realized it is indeed a problem. It's a serious problem. I nearly killed those kids. I haven't touched a bloody thing since. Then we have Davina. She's a full-time stay-at-home mum of three. Davina drank wine every night, as soon as the kids went to bed. Most of nights. Not every night. And Charlie. Where do I even start with you, Charlie? I did it all, boys and girls. Yeah, that's Jim Sterling. <laughs> Coke, meth. I am. Um, you name it. I saw that Jim Sterling and was credited in this game. I see Ollie didn't show up today. Again. I just hope he's all right. Doubt it. Yes, well, let me tell you how we do things here, Al. The group will hear you out, then, in turns, will offer advice and support. We'll never think less of you, though. No matter what your addiction made you do. And we'll never talk about it outside of this room. Today you can just listen to us. There's no pressure. But you'll feel better if you share. What are we going to do? Will you try? <gasps> Why not? Just see how it goes. Or you don't belong here. You're not like them. You don't belong here. You're not like them. Maybe. Next time? Today, I feel so evil right guys. now. We're all friends, huh? We don't fight. No, that's all right. Don't worry. Whenever you're ready, Al. Who'd like to start instead and tell us about their week? I'll go. Go on, Jim.
Oh no, we're ruining his life. I'll be right with you, mate. Uh oh. He's gone in for the milk, but we're gonna make him buy Hello. the booze. How can I help you? Hi. Um I'll have some batteries and uh menthol bronsons, please. Yep. Sure. There's batteries. Should and... drop on the floor. Whoops. I'm sorry. I must have done it by accident. It's gonna smell the wine. I'll, I'll pay for it. Yeah. I'm afraid you'll have to. But you know what? There buy one, get one free. Oh. So, yeah. At least you'll get one to take home with you. I'm. You're no, not actually allowed I, to uh, do that in England anymore. I don't think. I don't um, really I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do buy one get one free with alcohol. It's, it's uh, nice encourages being drinking. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your five ninety nine. For yeah. reasons like this. in his ear do it take it you know you want it it'll make a nice gift no you're done with this shit take it you know you want it take it you know you want it i do feel really bad about this but this is for bethany all right this is for bethany you've worked so hard lately you deserve a treat you've worked hard lately you deserve a treat Um, let's make it your last bottle, yeah? Let's make it your last bottle, yeah? I'll take it. Hey, you forgot your ciggies. Oh, well, hey, Mitzi, you fancy a cigarette? That's a cat. Cats can't smoke cigarettes. Do you think that was the Queen of Maggots? Do you think that was her? the wine I'll just leave it here in case he wants to drink it eventually let's turn the radio on nothing's happening it needs new batteries okay let's go find some batteries we're gonna turn the radio on it's gonna wake him up and he's gonna be so knackered he's gonna have a glass of wine to help him sleep that's my plan looks like Al's decided to clean that fridge after all good for him I don't want to touch it. It's mostly that horrible moldy food from the fridge in there. Guys, go wake him up. I'm gonna have to replay through this game because I want to know what happens if you don't do all of this. I'll just leave it here. In case he wants to- nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh wow. Oh shut the fuck up. Could have just turned it off, mate. Too drunk? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh oh. I'll just leave it here, in case he wants to drink it eventually. It's getting dangerously close. Hello? What? But I'm off today. 
No, I didn't change the rotor. I don't know who did. Did you ask Phil? He did? <sighs> yeah, I know what Mr. B's like. That damn Mr. B. Fine. Give me 20 minutes. Do you think I'll Mr. B's in. in on it too? Do you think B stands for Beelzebub? Mr. Beelzebub. Confirmed. How long has he been staring at it? Oh, red wine, beef stew. Red wine. I see. Mrs. Giles requested this recipe for her anniversary on Friday, Mr. B. I think Mr. B's in on it. I, I, I legit think Mr. B is um, either in on it or being possessed or something. Because remember when we, um, we got trapped by the dog in the alleyway? That was all kind of a little bit, you know suspicious that we got trapped by a dog and a van in the alleyway and then we got told that us moving the oh sorry the making the the dog chase the cat made mr b's car crash and it's all weird how he seems to be connected to everything i i could be looking into it too much but i haven't i have a feeling i have a feeling mr b's connected to all of this because we've never seen him either like if we'd have seen mr b maybe not but we we never see him oh it's maria it's a lot of wine oh He's stealing sherry again. Do you think the lock's still busted? It's gonna lock him I in. I mean, if a draft was to push that door, it wouldn't be anything to do with us, right? Hey, who's done that? Uh-oh. That's sneaky, Maria. Just let me out, will you? I can summon rain? That's a blue action. This shit isn't funny! Oh, bloody hell, Nisha! Leg it! Trying to get you more likes. Leave him alone. What a shame about your cool mobile getting fucked by the rain. Leave him alone. I've had a change of heart. I've had a change of heart. <laughs> I feel bad. Say nothing. Oh, just go ahead and have your bloody drink if you want it so much, or I'll take care of you, mate. I'll take care of you, mate. I feel bad. Like, we're ruining his life. <laughs> Although I need to save Bethany, though. This is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible, man. So I'm guessing... I'm going to guess that the meter at the top, if that reaches zero, he drinks. If it doesn't, he doesn't. And so far, we've pretty much done everything to make him drink. Um, but I didn't see any other options to, like, not make him drink, apart from waiting on the couch. a nice hot bath is what he needs after a day like this. Can we turn it around now or is it too late? Let's wait. I think he's about to fall asleep. He can enter his dream. 
I think we can turn it around. Even though I made his bird run away. And then I forced him to buy that bottle of wine. It's a nice dream, Mal. But shall we make it a little more interesting? Okay, we can do a shark. We can put him on a desert island or a nice island. Let's put him on a nice island. This is lovely. That's the woman from the painting. Or the photo, sorry. Who is uh, who is it, though? I'm going to guess that it is his wife or girlfriend and that he lost her. Oh, it's Jimmy. You're all right. Um, yes. You? We need to talk, Lorelai. Okay. Follow me. So, you're working for the Queen of Maggots now. Kind of. Toying with people's lives? She's got Bethany. And Zach. Killing parasites. I don't really have a choice. I don't really have a choice. There's a whole bunch of people that will suffer if I don't do this. People I promised to save. Yeah, but that's not Al's fault, is it? It's not. Who are you to decide about that man's life? I agree! I'll tell you who I am. I'm a survivor. I will do whatever it takes to get through this and save my loved ones. I won't hesitate. And if it means sacrificing a stranger's life on the way, then so be it. Well, I hope you realize that Al's walking a very thin line here. So am I, Jimmy. So am I. Fine. I'm not here to lecture you on morality. I came to ask about the real Queen of Maggots. What happened in the tunnel? First of all, thanks for giving me a broken bloody lighter. I'm guessing you already know uh, that I did not manage to kill it. Turned out one bomb wasn't enough. Not going to be around the bush. Operation Tunnel was a complete fuck up. Uh, yeah, it was a complete fuck up. Not going to be around the bush. Operation Tunnel was a complete fuck up. Sorry, mate. I had no choice but to waste the bomb on blowing up a wall. But you did find the monster, right? Yes, but without your bomb, my only option would have been to beat it with the stick. And I didn't even have a stick. I'm sorry, Lorelei. I should have prepared better. Yeah, but now that I've seen that thing, I agree. We must destroy it. I'm glad you think so, too. So there's our plan B. So, is there a plan B? No, Lorelai. There isn't. It took me a long time to find her hiding place. And even longer to make that bond. 
I really hoped there would be no need for Plan B. You should always have a Plan B. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's something we can do. I'll figure something out. But I need you to promise me something. What is it? All right. What is it? If you manage to find a way out and survive this, when you're back in the real world, go to 12 Helen Road. There is a spare key in the plant pot right outside flat three. Find me. Okay. And wake me up. I can promise that. Davina, and I'm an alcoholic. Okay, we've got a second chance here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has been a difficult week. The kids are doing my head in. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I could just strangle them so they would shut up. But I won't, obviously. They're my kids. I love them so much. But every time they spill stuff on the floor, and every time they scream their little heads off for a fight about some stupid toy, struggles are real. I start thinking about it. It's always there, you know? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we've got a second chance here. Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? She just needs a bit of support. I don't have kids, so I don't really know what that's like, but... You know, for some reason, I remember something Bill Murray once said in a movie. I think it was lost in translation. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, well, he basically said, it's true that kids are hard, but they grow up to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. So what I'm trying to say is, be strong. Being a mum's never easy. True that. But in the end, you'll know it was all worth it. I saw that film. I don't remember that line, but I... Sure remember him drinking a lot of whiskey. Ah, whiskey. We were the best of friends once. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like Al's decided to clean that fridge after all. Good for him. Can we go in? Can't go in his room for some reason. Oh, he's here, okay. Got a horror channel. We've got gross. Still a horror channel? This is eerie. I've said it before, like whenever you get like real people in, in a video game like this, it, it, I don't know why, it just puts me on edge. Oh shit, that was alcohol. Um There we go, perfect. This was all in the care home earlier as well. In contacts, no. Back to the horror. 
Yeah, let's get off that one. Okay. So we didn't make him watch the, the alcohol advert. Sounds like the postman's arrived. I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier's done with this mobile. So we can swap the stickers, which is orange. Robert McIntyre, who's that? Okay, well that's lager and bitter. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that coming to Al. No thanks. I've decided to write this letter because uh, we never really had a chance to say goodbye. Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Again, I'm assuming this is his then ex wife. I heard about the group therapy. And yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. But it's too late. This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. Oh, Al. Now, after all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did, and yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. Goodbye, Al, and good luck. Uh oh. What did he smash? Set in my room again, locked inside my head just to get away. Run into the river, sand. Just to sink down into the ocean sand Where I am now When I need you so bad Is he gonna drink? Is he gonna do it? I hope not. I changed my mind halfway through. Think about the one I don't deserve Is this my fate to be your biggest mistake Where I am now Don't do it, Al. I need you so bad Black hat and a crow Always guiding, always no. guiding my path No! I'll know! We didn't do enough Uh oh. 
when I'm going down this road again. I really, really want to replay that and see if I can do it perfectly and see if he still drinks or not. Oh shit. Goodbye.